Well, I had to go down and empty out my truck today. Maverick's going to take it. That's understandable. Uh, it can't sit there and not make money. Um, so I know what you're wondering. How much stuff does a person have in their truck? And I don't have a whole lot of stuff I don't need in my truck. But I'll give you a hint. My truck's full. I microwave here. Here I got an air hose I hook to my glad hand and fill up my tires, keep my tires up. Um, this is food stuff, tools. I got my CB radio back here. Got a lawn chair that I sit on. Uh, there's more tools, impact for taking the A-frames down. I got one of these little mini tool kits. They work real good for the truck. And then I got uh, my uh, 16 quart containers I set up above um above the bunk on that shelf and of course i got my step ladder and my electronics are all in this one here and then i got did i say headset and then there's my mic and stuff for my cb which i was gonna put back in the box but when i pulled my ladder down i found out the headache rack destroyed it basically this ladder is a piece of crap and i had just bought it um all they do is they just put an l bracket back behind the headache rack and your ladder sits on that but the problem is it shapes on all kinds of crap in there it's just honestly it's just a half-ass ladder rack you know they don't want you climbing the a-frames but they don't have a decent ladder rack on the trucks and, and and that's a complaint for sure because i just ruined a ladder that i've only used once or twice and this was um this one of better ladders uh, this wasn't one of the cheap ones a good warner ladder and it's now basically junk i mean uh it's cracked clean through war almost still on that side where it rubbed against the headache rack so uh, needless to say i'm out a ladder but um looks like it's going to be another at least four weeks before i get back on the road um sorry to say um because i don't have my test till the 24th after the test uh it is a mandatory week off for uh dot so um we'll see i don't expect them to do a whole lot i feel pretty good i actually went out and mowed the yard got my yard looking good you should have seen it when i started uh it was mostly just a weed patch i got some bare spots there was a big big ugly brick flower panel planter here and right out there in that circle was just a big i don't know what it was um just rocks with some type of makeshift flower bed but it's coming it just uh takes time but we'll let you know what's going on and i'll get back just as soon as i can because right now money's doing good well i want to cover something real quick um as you guys know i don't i don't cheerlead for maverick and i don't try to sell maverick i just tell you what's going on i give you probably the most inside look of what's going on in maverick is as anybody because i I just feel like telling it the way it is. Um, second pay increase of the year, um, three cents a mile um, for all levels of, all 10 year levels of uh, glass. Um, tarp pay went up uh, 35 to $50 for each. And your live load went up to, from 75 to 100 for 25 more dollars for that. So that's pretty dang good. But freight right now is just crazy. I heard it's, it's all sold out. Uh, guaranteed pay went from a thousand to thirteen hundred. So if you're available five days a week, but you don't get enough runs, um, you'll get paid thirteen hundred dollars. If you're sitting there parked and and you're available um, for any reason, um, you'll get thirteen hundred dollars. So that's pretty good. Detention has not changed. Um, I thought detention might would go up too. Um, Basically, detention is equal to pretty much what you make at McDonald's, I guess. $15 an hour. I think that probably seems like the going wage right now. But a lot of companies pay no detention. A lot of companies have no guaranteed pay. Um, so I want to give that to you. And like I said, I don't sell our cheerleading for Maverick. I believe that's an individual choice. Um, I'll just let you know what's going on and answer all the questions you got out there.